Hey, I'm the Manji Dragonfly. Welcome to my LP of Mega Man X. You can call this my revival of sorts. I tried getting into LPing years and years back with a game called Digital Devil Saga. That didn't go well. I probably shouldn't have picked a 50 plus hour RPG as my first LP in the first place. But it's especially bad when A, I hadn't actually finished the game yet. And B, the first thing I did in the first episode was save over my main file. <laughs> that was bad. The Mega Man X series is an interesting series. When X1 first came out, it could have been considered a breath of fresh air for the Mega Man series. Mega Man had already gone six games strong, but it was arguably getting a bit stale at that point since it hadn't really done anything new. Mega Man had gone for six games straight, but the last few hadn't really done anything new, so Mega Man X wound up doing quite a few things differently. First thing that Mega Man X does differently, it has an intro stage. A tutorial of sorts. Now, we probably all know about this tutorial. We've probably seen all the memes thanks to a certain, I guess I'll call him an anime, or he's really more of an elf here at this point. I don't think he really, I don't think he really does a whole lot of anime nowadays. I can't really smack talk him too much since he was actually kind of the reason I even got into Mega Man in the first place, thanks to that video. So while we're talking about that video, let's just go ahead and get all the memes out of the way. Uh, jump and shoot man, I'm shooting lemons. Mega Man, Mega Man! There's one more, but we'll get to that when it becomes a bit more relevant. I'm glad that I already took damage. No, I'm already playing with garbage. I didn't know those things would curve up, actually. I didn't think that was a thing they did. So one, bi one other big thing that Mega Man X does differently from the classic series is that it adds wall jumping. This is probably one of my favorite little changes, since it means that those stupid one-pixel jumps of the past games is not really a big issue in this game, since even if you just barely miss the jump, you can save yourself by jumping off the wall. I like it a lot. This is a tutorial stage, it shouldn't be that difficult, I say as I take damage a few times. Okay, I want that help. Alright, so here's the last meme that I didn't mention before. Riding on cars. Insert sweet guitar solo here. Future Manji. Go and put in a sweet guitar solo. Also, apparently I just have a future me now. I'm uh, just gonna go ahead and steal... I uh, mean, borrow that from Proton John Light. Take inspiration from that. Wait, okay, there's the other one. I was wondering what was taking so long. 
Alright, so we're doing well so far. We've still got full health. I'm sure we'll cap this intro off with a nice, smooth, easy boss fight. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, see, this boss ain't so tough. I'm just, ow, just gotta not run into him. Just have to not run into him. Just have to not get clocked by him. I don't think this fight's going well. I don't think this fight's going well. I'm not sure if I'm winning this one. Especially Navi does that. Especially Navi takes me to the plot zone. Oh no, the plot zone. I was kind of hoping I could defeat you. Kind of bang on that. Okay, yeah, no, we had to lose that fight. You were never gonna win. Because X needs to be saved by his hero, Zero. X, you shouldn't- wait, how do you know his name is X? Aren't you two just mean for the first time? How do you know he's not full power yet? You may even become as powerful as I am. Work hard, X. Get stronger. And maybe, one day, you'll be almost as cool as me. Bye. So there's the password, so you don't have to play the intro anymore. I don't know why there's multiple passwords for just bypassing the intro, but there is. Now we get into the real meat and potatoes of the Mega Man X games. All the Mega Man games, really. The boss selection screen. Here we call them Mavericks. We have Launch Octopus, Chill Penguin, Mat Man, Stage Man, very tough opponents, Armored Armored Zillow, Storm Eagle, Spec Man, Spark Mantle, Sting Chameleon, Mega Man X Fan, the strongest of opponents, Boomer Quanger, have to not make the obvious joke on that one, and Flame Mammoth. Let's face it though, if you're playing Mega Man X1, rule number one, the golden rule, you always go after Chill Penguin first. There's a very important reason you go after Chill Penguin first, and that's because there's a particular item here that you want. Don't worry, you can't miss it. Oh my god, I'm already playing like garbage here. Great. Alright, took so much damage. I wow. Wow. Wow, Manji. Wow, Manji! Way to smack talk and get hit. Is, uh, can someone drop help for me? Can one of you drop help for me? Oh, oh, thank you, bad friend. I need that. Thank you. Okay, you can leave me alone. That is arguably a criticism of, Meg of Mega Man X. The X series kind of forces you to go after certain Mavericks first or earlier in order to get all the stuff, or in order to get important stuff, but, I mean, arguably by this point, the classic series was starting to dip into it. Just look at Toad Man. So here's the reason you want to come to Chill Penguin stage first. This capsule that's right in your path. X, I gave you the chance to choose your path in life, but this is a video game series, so you're never going to get to do that. But hey, this is a video game series, so we kind of knew this was going to happen, we planned accordingly. I hit a whole bunch of capsules around in all the games. Don't worry about the fact that some of them are way out of the way. Don't question why some of them are on airships. Don't worry, I left this one right in your path, because it's the most important upgrade you'll ever get in the whole series. Because these are the dash boots. Now you can dash. The most important addition to the X series. So obviously dashing makes you go faster, but another little thing about dashing, at least in X's 1 and 2, is that dashing right before you shoot a shot causes the shot to become more powerful. I believe it about doubles the power. I'll show off in the next stage how uh, important this is. 
but yeah, dashing and wall jumping, the two most important aspects to uh, the Mega Man X series, and in my opinion, the two reasons that the X series is superior to the classic series, in my opinion. That right armor was just a bonus. I'm sure it'll always be a very good and not all annoying part of the series. Of course, we have to have the classic boss doors before we fight the boss. And our boss, Chill Penguin, is not that difficult, which is another good reason to go after him first. He's got his Ice Breath, which will freeze you, but not actually damage you if you get hit by it. It will summon Ice Statues, so, uh, which will hurt you, so probably don't actually do that. He'll slide around, he'll destroy his statues, you can tell when he's going to slide because he'll be briefly invulnerable. He does that, it doesn't actually hurt you or anything, so it's just kind of more of a nuisance than anything. Or a breather. But yeah, no, Chill Penguin is not that tough. We're already done with him. You might struggle with him the first time you fight him, just because you don't really know what you're doing. At least I hope you do, because otherwise I'm going to feel really stupid for struggling with Chill Penguin the first time I fought him when I first played this game years ago. Just like any Mega Man game, kill a boss, you get his weapon. Of course, not all weapons are created equal, as those who play Mega Man 2 are very well aware. So let's go ahead and get one of the best boss weapons right now. So, I know I just said that we're going after the best boss weapon, but there is one other important reason we're going after Storm Eagle next. There's an upgrade here, which on its own is not really important, but you need it if you want to get quite a few items, including the second most important upgrade in this game. We'll get to it when we get to it. Oh god. That could have been bad. So those things grab you, and if you don't destroy them or get out of their grip in time, they explode and do damage and drop you. Speaking of dropping, drop off that elevator, or lift, whatever you want to call it. Go all the way to the left, and yeah, you'll find your heart piece. There's a heart piece, or sorry, heart container, in every Maverick stage. I know I didn't grab one in Chill Penguin stage, that's because we can't get it yet. Don't worry, I'll grab it, and I won't forget this time. Totally have not already had to scrap a recording or two because I forgot to grab that. Because I had to scrap that recording for other reasons. Also, here's a sub tank. Sub tanks are important. So, notice how I mentioned before about the dashing before you shoot a shot? If you dash and hit. Hit those turrets with a fully charged shot. If you dash beforehand, it destroys them one hit, but if you don't, it doesn't. So just to sort of explain about the sub-tanks, sub-tanks are this game's replacement for E-tanks. Unlike E-tanks, they stay in your inventory, so you can pretty much use them whenever as long as they're filled. You fill them up by grabbing health pickups while you're at full health. The downside is that whereas you can collect a whole bunch of E-Tanks once you get really good at the game, you can only collect a very limited amount of sub-tanks in very specific spots. In this game, it's about four. Other games have less. Down here, we'll find another castle. Other containers wouldn't have. Let's 
destroying these blocks doesn't get you anything. It's just to get you comfortable with the uh, idea of using it. Be nice and comfortable before they make it very uncomfortable to use. And uh, rather painful, for that matter. We'll get to it when we get to it. It's not the first time I've missed that shot, unfortunately. Hmm, these boss doors look weird. But yeah, Mega Man X likes to get a uh, fancy with its boss rooms. We're playing this boss outside a novel concept. So here's Storm Eagle. He's really not that tough. He's, uh, he honestly might be easier than Chill Penguin, but you don't want to go into this fight without the dash boots. There's very good reason for it. We might not even see the reason, because he just really loves dive bombing. We'll see. Oh no, he tried to sick eaglets on me. I got hit by Storm Eagle, that's great. I smack talk him and I get hit for it. That's the way it goes. Yeah, no, he totally didn't do it. So one of his attacks is that he can just go down and blow a big tornado. It won't do damage, but it will try to push you off the stage. I don't even think you can really not get pushed off the stage if you're not using the dash boots. So that's why you want the dash boots. There it is. The best weapon in Mega Man X. It's really strong, it's really good. So now we've done that, let's go after Flame Mammoth next. Another thing that Mega Man X does differently from the Classic series is that when you beat certain stages before going to other ones, those stages will actually be changed. I'm glad I took damage from the first enemy in Flame Mammoth stage. That's great. Anyway. So with Mega Man X, you will... If you beat certain stages before going to other ones, those stages will actually get changed up. Normally, Flame Mammoth stage is a lava land, but... Since we beat Chill Penguin stage first, the lava froze over. Don't ask me what freezing lava does, I'm not a scientist. Here's that awful jump that I'm honestly surprised I got on the first attempt. I'm doing that a lot more lately, actually. Shouldn't be surprised at this point. Doing that gets you the X-Buster upgrade. Get nice pink or shot. So the reason that you want to clear Chill Penguin stage before going to Flame Mammoth is because it freezes the lava over, which makes it a lot easier to get that heart piece. Good job dashing straight into him. Jump over here for a sub tank. Don't forget, like I did in at least one recording attempt. That one I did have to. That one I did scrap because I forgot that. Among other things, it was bad. I'm kind of bad. I had like I had like no practice before that. Hey buddy, how's your day? Being good. Oh, my buddy. I'll save you by destroying you. Not the plot of another game I've been playing lately. I feel like I forgot something. I forgot what I was going to say. Great. Don't 
That wasn't too bad. Let's go deal with the boss next. Thankfully, he's not too bad either. The boss has been fairly easy so far. That's going to change after this one, though. Flame is a big guy. He will jump around, and when he hits the ground, he shakes the ground. Also, when he makes when he makes noise, he will change the conveyor belt to see. He really likes making noise. He also really likes jumping around. I'm glad I've gotten hit every time he's tried to shoot me. Oh my god. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that uh, trying to shoot him from more than a screen's distance is uh, very effective. Because his oil with his fire, it will cause the oil to ignite. So uh, maybe don't be there when that happens. But yeah, Flame Mammoth, Flame Mammoth is not that tough. Fire Wave is your basic video game flamethrower. It's about as effective as a regular video game flamethrower, which is less than you'd hope. Before we do anything else, let's go back to Chill Penguin stage to grab that heart we missed. Future Manji, cut this out. to have here with a weapon that can destroy this dome. I think there's a few that can do it, but the flame, the fire wave is definitely one that can. It's the easiest point I can get, so there you have it. Alright, so normally I fight launch octopus for my fourth boss, but I think I'm gonna change up and go after Boomer Wanger next. Boomer Quanger is a vertical level. In the classic series, this would be somewhat painful, but in X, thanks to wall jumping and dashing, it's actually pretty fun. I remember the first time I played through a uh, Elect Man stage, like, way a ways back. It was, uh, not fun. Since they hadn't actually figured out how to do vertical stages yet. I mean, it was the first game, so I can't really fault them that much, but... Eh. Yeah, Storm Tornado shreds these things in seconds. It's definitely one of the best weapons. There is a certain boss weapon that we would like to have at this point. I don't think I've ever actually... I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Future Manji edited that out. I swear I know how to play this game. I would like it very much if I could do a recording session without playing like absolute garbage. Oh my god. There you go. That's how you get through that. It's not actually difficult. I don't know why I had to make it look difficult. I'm glad I can't get through a single recording session without playing like garbage. This would be, uh, kind of a nightmare in the classic series. That's kind of a nightmare. Normally. Not like that. Teach me as that out. The 
supposedly there's a way to get that without, like, having to do any sort of fancy tricks, but I just don't know it. I just can't do it. So, I think what you're supposed to do is that you're supposed to beat Boomer Twanger first and then come back with his weapon. But the way I prefer doing it is to come here with Shotgun Ice and the Buster Upgrade. And maybe not screw up like that. There we go, much better. Alright, Flame Wave is uh, kind of weird in that it's, it's like an aisle type weapon where like, as long as you hold the button it goes. Which uh, makes the whole like, quick switching between all the weapons that you can do in X, which is another thing that was added to the series, a bit more of a hassle. Paying attention. Oh my god. Well, I'm probably not gonna beat Boomer Quang or that little health. And I guess I didn't explain it before, but one thing I kind of do to uh, sort of challenge myself with the X Games is to go through the bosses the first time without using the weakness, since otherwise a lot of bosses wind up kind of being pretty easy with uh, the weakness. I played horribly. Awesome. Okay, Quanger. Let's try that again. This time with, uh... This time let's show that I actually know how to play the game. So one thing I'll notice is that Boomer Quanger loves to teleport. <laughs> He'll either try to teleport into you or try to teleport right next to you, and if he does that, he'll grab you like a grapple character in a fighting game. Oh! Well, there's your grapple. Oh my god. Wow, I don't normally lose to him at full health, but he just decided to teleport spam that time. That's great. That's great. I will lame you out. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to stop when you get on a wall. There we go. God, that does not normally take me two attempts. That's... that's a bad sign. Alright, so since I'm playing like garbage... Now that I've already got the boomerang cutter, I'm gonna end it off here. Next time on Mega Man X, more Mavericks. See you next time.